What's going on guys? TTL here. Today I'm going to be going over my top three props for today. Today is Monday, January 8th, 2024. Um, it's been a week into the new year guys. Hope you guys are having a great new year so far. Um, looking great for us. I know we've had a lot of profit days. We've come really close to hitting a bunch of 25Xs. It's been a lot of fun this year. Um, got a great NBA board today. I know it's only four or five games, but I was actually able to find quite a bit of value early on today so gonna have three props for today and um, I do really appreciate you guys so make sure you're gonna hit that like button leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button guys yesterday's video unfortunately I gave two picks away Morant was a DNP Blackston was at 12 at the end of the game unfortunately there was overtime somebody made a shot with I think five seconds left he made a three-pointer Went to overtime. Claxton ended up going over with 24 seconds left of overtime. Really unfortunate. Um, can't control stuff like that. But it was a good read. He had 12 at the end of the actual regulation. Unfortunately, though, um, over overtime did kill us. But three picks 0 for 1 yesterday. It sucks that Morant didn't play as well. I mean, it was kind of just iffy. I mean, like only one free pick. That kind of sucks. If you play, pair the two pick together, you just got a refund. So not that big of a deal. But. I have three picks that I'm absolutely loving today. I've already posted all of these in VIP. If you guys are interested in VIP, it's only $20 a month. I highly recommend it. And um, we've been absolutely killing it, guys. We're getting really close. We've hit a 20X already this year. We've hit like eight or nine 2Xs and like 10.4Xs. Um, I've been playing those correlated slips every single day with the help of DG Fantasy. And we are just slowly but steadily absolutely demolishing this guys so i highly recommend signing up only 20 dollars a month guys you get every single slip that i personally play and now into the actual picks guys so i'm going to be using outlier.bet you can get a free week for that um for my research you get a free week using my link in the pinned comment and i'm going to be using dg fantasy for my research and this one you get DFS correlated slips, you get optimizer, you get a ton of stuff. You can use code LIMIT for 25% off of your first month. So highly recommend that as well. I use DG Fantasy to find the props and then I look on Outlier, look at the stats of it, make sure I actually like it even though the odds point towards it. And then if I actually like it, I take it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Our top two picks are actually picks that I didn't find from DG Fantasy. DG Fantasy is going to be our third and final pick. But the first pick of the day is going to be Jordan Poole over three and a half assists. So this isn't on underdog. And there's a reason why. It's a 1.65x on sleeper. This is 3.5 assist. We can take a look. 3.5 assist. This is minus 135 everywhere. Minus 140 on Fandle. So there is some positive expected value here as well. Over his last five, he's cashed in three of five. Last 10, he's cashed in five of 10. And in 2023, he's only cashed in 16 of 34. Now we know he's against the Thunder. The Thunder are 19th in assists allowed. So they're allowing quite a bit of assists. But versus shooting guards, that number goes all the way up to 27th in the league. So they're top three teams for most assists allowed. He's exceeded this in six of his last seven games at home. So we're going to click this little button on Outlier right here. We're going to click Home Games. So at home this year, he's hitting six of his last seven. He's hitting four in a row, and he's hitting eight of 14 this year thus far. Now, Washington are 11.5 point favorites. No one's out. Um, there are a few game time decisions, but no one's really um, out that hasn't been out already. Um, I'm really liking this. Eight, eight of 14 at home, minus 140 odds on most sports books, minus 135, whatever you get it at. Um, 1.6x on sleeper, like I said, loving this. This will be bumped. This will go to four assist, 100%. Like I would put money on it that this goes to four assist. So as soon as you see this video, you need to find a pair. I have the perfect pair for you as well, and that's going to be marketing over two and a half three pointers. This one was already taken off the board. So um, I am going to replace this prop because it's taken off the board, but that's how quick it is, boys. I posted this in VIP. Um, I'm going to go over it just in case you want to take this at a different uh, on a different website. Um, but yeah, that happens, guys. That's why you need to get in VIP. You get these pre-bump. It's only been like an hour, and it's already bumped up, guys. I knew it was going to get bumped up. Um, now, I do want to say, actually, I'm going to give only... 
um, this pick, the marketing pick, the pool pick, the marketing pick, and then the third pick. Um, just because I know a lot of you play on other websites like Sleeper, on Chalkboard, and on Sportsbooks, you can still take this there. Um, but we're going to take a look at the reasoning why marketing. We can already take a look at DGF. He's on here already. 54.05% implied odds to hit. Um, he's at minus 135, minus 145 on some sports books. It's looking really good. And we can see right here, over his last five, he's cashed in three of five, last 10, seven of 10. And in 2023, he's cast this in 17 of 27 games. Away games, he's cashed in 11 of 15, 73%. In the head-to-head -head matchup, he got three last year at the end of last year. Um, not last year, I guess it's 2024 now. Um, so it doesn't really count. It's not this season, it's this last season. Um, he had six three-point attempts in that game, though. He's averaging eight three-point attempts this season thus far. In away games, he's averaging nine. So I'm really liking this. He's exceeded this in seven of his last nine games in general, not even just away. And um, we can take a look at the Bucks. R6 in the league for three points uh, allowed, and I think fourth for power forward. So they don't allow many assists, I mean, uh, many three-pointers, but I'm still loving this for Markinen just because how many he throws up. I mean, there's plenty of games with him getting four or five three-pointers. As long as he can make them, he should easily cash this number. I'm loving it. Let's lock it in with confidence, and let's get on to our third and final pick of the day, which is going to be Giannis over 19 and a half rebounds and assists. Now, if you look at underdog, this is already at 20. You look at sleeper, this is 20 and a half right now. Um, there's plenty of value to be had here. That's the reason I'm taking this. I actually found this from Daily Grind Fantasy, dgfantasy.com. Again, code limit, 25% off your first month. But rebounds and assists over 19 and a half. It's a 54.31% odds to hit. It's the highest NBA odds to hit here. Minus 141 is the uh, odds that they give it. The fair odds. We can see this is at 20 and a half on FanDuel already. And for DraftKings, it's minus 130 at 19 and a half, minus 135. Flip has it at minus 145. So I'm really liking this today. Let's lock it in with confidence. And then let's head over on to outlier.bet and take a look at why I'm liking this. Now, I will go ahead and say, guys, this is most likely, this is mainly, not most likely, this is mainly a positive EV play. The stats, there are some things about the stats that just maybe even point to the under or might like maybe it's just a little bit iffy. But I'm trusting the sports books on this one. I'm really liking it. Let's take a look. So let's take a look at over 19 and a half rebounds and assists. Minus 130, minus 135, and let's take a look. So over his last five, he's went over in three out of five. He had two games where he got 19 um, versus the Pacers and versus the Rockets. The Pacers give up a ton of rebounds and assists. The Rockets, they do not. They actually have a really good defense that makes sense on why he wouldn't go over versus them. The Spurs, he went over against. That makes sense. The Cavs have a pretty good defense and he went over versus them. And then we can see the Pacers. Again, he actually got 29 with 11 assists that game. Last 10, 4 of 10. Last 20, 7 of 20. This season, he's played 35 games. He's only went over in 9 of these. Now, let's take a look in the head-to-head -head matchup. He got 17 last year. This is last season. At home, that 26%, 9 of 35, goes to 6 of 19, 32%. We can also see Crowder's out, Lillard is out, and Cameron Payne are out. So there's no at-home games with these three out. Let's take a look. Without Lillard, 0 for 2. Um, without Payne, no, no data. Um, without Jay Crowder, though, 39%, I mean 35, 43% at home. So he already gets a little bit of a bump from Crowder. With Lillard being out as well, he's going to get even even bigger bump. We can see he's averaging 12.5 rebounds per game. That is another line that you could take. But without Crowder, he's been killing it, guys. 11 assists, 6 assists, 16 assists, 3, 6, 3, 6, 10, 10, 6, 7. He's getting tons of assists. I believe his assist line is at 7 on price picks right now. Um, seven and a half on sports books and his rebound line is at 12 and a half so it just makes sense i'm really liking the over 19 and a half ra we can see the jazz are 28th in the league for assist allowed eighth in the league for rebounds and then versus power forwards it goes to 11th in rebounds 22nd in assist so i think he's going to be able to he's just going to get a ton of usage right without lillard and without um so without lillard and without jay crowder and cameron Payne, he's just going to get tons of usage he already gets a ton of usage but this is just going to bump it up even more. Um, he should have plenty of opportunities for rebounds and assist here. 
Um, and I'm just really loving this play today. He's getting around 40 minutes per game. So loving this. Let's lock it in with confidence. And that's my third and final play of the day, guys. Make sure you're hitting that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button, guys. I'll see you in the free Discord. That link is in the pinned comment. And go join that Patreon, guys. I promise you it's worth it.